Hey, I'm Trent from TKO Tinting, and we've been asked to compare the difference between the 3M Color Stable Film and the 3M Crystalline. So to do that, we're going to use a heat sheet and this power meter. This little meter that I'm using measures watts per meter squared. So the best way to do this is to turn the uh, light box on, turn on the power meter, and this is measuring how many watts per meter squared of energy is coming through to the meter. That's reading 514. So basically the lower the number, the better it is. So if we put the tint down in here now, here we've got color stable on the left, crystalline on the right. So this is color stable 35, this is crystalline 40. This is reading 195. Let's move it over to the crystalline 40, that's reading 47. Once again, go back to the color stable, 205, 56. It is changing, even if you move it slightly within a few millimeters, but you can see the massive difference that the, there is between how much energy is coming through the color stable compared to the crystalline. Now also, just to double check that, we'll put the heat sheet in front of it and watch how much longer it takes the right side to change color compared to the left. So this, this heat sheet, when it warms up, it changes color. Notice the color changing in the top corner here. It's actually working very slowly. If you see our previous video, when we use cheap tin, you'll see how quickly the cheap tin uh, makes the heat sheet change color. So I hope that clears things up for you, how um, spending that little bit of extra money using 3M crystalline film is not only a big advantage over all other films, but it's also a big advantage over 3M's own film, Color Stable.